Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Windows 10 blue screen error cave mode exception not handled. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, we're going to start by actually getting into safe mode. So if you're unable to boot into Windows, you want to do a hard power off three times in a row, meaning turn on your computer until the point it gets to the Windows boot screen with a little loading circle, and then press the power button on your tower or laptop, and then shut that off and then repeat that cycle two more times, so a total of three times, to enter into the recovery options. Otherwise, if you're able to boot into Windows, you want to go select the Start menu, select the Power button, right here on the screen it's different than your actual physical hardware button on your computer that you use to turn on and off your computer and now you want to hold down the shift key on your keyboard while left clicking on restart so again hold down the shift key and then left click on restart So when you choose an option, select Troubleshoot, Reset Your PC, or see Advanced Options. Select Advanced Options again, and now select Startup Settings, Change Windows Startup Behavior, and then select Restart. So now you want to tap the function key that corresponds to enable safe mode networking, which in my case is the F5 or function 5 key on the top of my keyboard. So I'm going to go tap that one time. Give it a moment to load here. Okay, so once you're in safe mode here, you want to go and open up the start menu. So go, go ahead and lock on the start button one time. And into the start menu search, you want to type in msconfig, exactly as it appears on my screen. Best match to come back with system configuration. You want to go ahead and left click on that. Select the services tab. And now you want to look for something that says eLAN service. So I don't actually have one on my computer, but I'll have it up on the screen in the video. So eLAN service should be on this list under E. So E-L-A-N and then service. You want to uncheck it and then select apply and OK to save the change. Once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and restart your computer. That should be you to the normal Windows desktop and hopefully your issue will have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.